Inspiring. Life changing. Surprising. Invigorating. Wow. Turnaround program uh, is a program that gives awards to students for changing their life uh, through perseverance and, and, and constant effort. It's not something easy. Winning the award um, changed my life. It became invigorating to know that I could turn things around. It was very exciting knowing that my accomplishments were recognized. I hope that I can change a child's life the way that people have changed my life. Try your best, do not give up, and give your 100%. Don't ever, ever give up. I made a promise that I'd make it through school and try to get my life together. My life is on the line, so why not start now? A bullying proprietor in Dade County started the turnaround program. Uh, John Smith was his name. In the very beginning, we, it was this high school, and so we started off on Bush Boulevard at the Ramada Inn on Bush Boulevard. It's just growing to include uh, middle school. So today, every middle school and high school in Hillsborough County, uh, we do a turnaround program for. We had employed at the time a retired shop teacher in one of our local bowling centers who was, uh, became aware of the program and he saw it down in Miami and he brought it to our attention. So from that point on, once the bowling proprietors find out about it, they loved it, and it's growing into what we have today. The turnaround program wouldn't be anything what it is today without Hillsborough County School System. Like right now we're working with Walt to um, be our support on that end, and there have been a couple people other than myself before me that have done what I do today. So. Uh, we've been very fortunate and have been excellent people and staff from the very beginning. I believe it started in kind of a humble way, probably best illustrated by some of the venues. They were actually the bowling lane areas of the bowling alleys who were the sponsors of the program. Since then, we've kind of evolved to different venues such as Maestro's and the Doubletree Hotel and Blake's Black Box, which is a rather intimate theater setting. My first year, participating with the event was one of those bowling alley episodes. So you gotta imagine yourself approaching the approach line in a bowling alley and looking to your left and your right and seeing nothing but tables as far as the eye would carry. And it was an interesting venue to have it in a bowling alley, but it was very sincere and very significant. As a teacher and an administrator, it's often that you, you try to find the student who is improving. You wanna celebrate success anywhere in any way you can. The Turnaround Award gave a school an opportunity to identify one student who exemplified that concept. When I met Shakira in ninth grade year, she really had two things on her mind, fighting and drama. And it, it took trying to figure out what her special interest was to get her really involved in school, and that was she wanted to be a teacher. My goal is to be the best person I can be, and to be, not only be a preschool teacher, but own a preschool teacher, and I hope that I can change a child's life the way that people have changed my life, and the things that I've done. I hope that I can do this for another child. This young lady, I'm uh, pleased to uh, present her award this year as a result of her uh, leadership, teamwork, dedication, and understanding that the educational opportunity that, that she has been presented. And she's grasped that, improving attendance, uh, academic, and just grasped the future that lies ahead after high school. It's actually an honor, because I never thought I would. Um, once I went ins inside the office, saying that they were gonna be, actually said that I was in trouble. So I was actually uh, scared, but it's actually an honor to receive this award. Try your best, do not give up, and give your 100%. Don't ever, ever give up, because there's other people in worse situations, and just try your best. Jabray is a young man who, who although he's a fine young man and, and never really had any trouble in school, he's, he struggled with motivation, he struggled to come to school. He missed over 25 days of school last year, and it was a situation where we weren't sure that Pepin was maybe the right choice for him. He's really shown that he's dedicated to his education, and the change has been dramatic, and his grades have improved all A's and B's, and it's, it's, it's really, uh, it, we're really proud of him. Oh, well, this is a different environment completely from middle school to high school. 
and as high school progressed, about uh, freshman year, my mom was sick in the hospital, so um, that had a big impact on me because she passed away when I was uh, a sophomore. But I made a promise that I'd make it through school and try to get my life together and pretty much continue on. So that's one of the biggest things that keeps me focused. That's my anchor to get everything done. Jeffrey started out uh, with going downhill. Let's put it that way nicely. <laughs> he didn't seem to uh, care about GPA or grades, and it just kept, kept getting worse. But his parents were very supportive, very in, involved in what he was doing or wasn't doing. And we were constantly asking him, what can we do? What's going on? What can we help with? And his response was always, I will joke with him. Oh. So this year, he just, something happened. He turned it around. I just woke up one day, and then I just realized, oh man, my, uh, my life is on the line, so why not start now? Hang in there, and um, in time, it'll all work out. Behind every turnaround student, there always seems to be a person, another person or a peer that has helped them, and that can be a parent, a church goer, uh, school counselor, a teacher, they've always been there, and I think that person gets as much reward out of this program as the student himself, because they actually see there are, these are the people that care about these kids, and they see the fruit of it, what, what they're trying to accomplish. Two separate teachers at Brandon High School nominated me for this award. Uh, they had recognized a significant change in my life, and uh, it was just really an honor. My turnaround, people fail to realize my turnaround wasn't that drastic. It's just I didn't have nobody to point me in the right direction. It's kind of like an arrow. If you don't have nobody, an archer shooting the arrow, it, it can kind of go anywhere. Um, but um, Mr. Matthias was that, that archer that pointed me in the right direction. He um, gave me some stability, and, and I'm thankful to this day for the work they've done for me. And I just want to pay it forward to the young people that I work with today. So that would be Addie Singfield, that would be my guidance counselor, and it's funny, I'll give you some background. I was the student that figured out strategically how to get on and off campus in a given day. Um, and I had to check in with her every afternoon, and let me tell you, that was probably the only five minutes that I was on campus at that point, was just to check in with her after lunch. But a little piece of her knew, a little piece of her knew that I, I, I hadn't changed yet, I hadn't turned myself around, but her drive, her willingness to support me, to see me as the diamond in the rough, to know that I was not the outcast, she was the one that showed me I was a one in a million, and that I would, I would be a more refined, polished version of Katrina. Miss Geary, who a uh, fantastic person, knew her for two years and or knew her for two months and we immediately became really close. I was not the most uh, social person, like I said. I would kind of just sit there um, silently. I'd say things in my head all day, but not to anyone out loud. Um, Mostly just because it was, you know, first few months, you know, at, at brand new school, so that didn't help. Um, but as the year, years, TV years progressed, I kind of, I guess, came out of my shell socially, which is good and bad at the same time for other people, because now I won't shut up. She helped me through my year. There was a little bit of confusion throughout that year, but she always, I always went to her, Ms. Moore. I always went back to her and she always helped me and helped me get through my, not only educational wise, but just supported me through my middle school career. By all accounts, I was um, a troubled teenager in high school uh, struggled with drugs and alcohol, and my parents, on my, in my during my senior year, decided they were going to fix me, <laughs> and they they uh, started taking me to church, 
And I met a man named Bob Record at uh, Bell Shoals Baptist Church in Brandon. And uh, he shared with me a hope and um, a message that I'd never heard before. And that was a changing point in my life. Today, um, I live in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, after high school, I went on to receive my bachelor's degree. Then I moved out here uh, to attend Southwestern Seminary where I received my master's degree. And I am currently a senior pastor at Bear Creek Community Church in Fort Worth. Winning the award um, changed my life. It, it, it put me on a new path and a lot of the stuff that I learned from the guy who influenced me and nominated me for the award, I'm actually a mentor to so many kids now, um, currently, because of the efforts that he, that he poured into my life, I'm able to pour into a lot of young people's lives as well, now to this day. Winning the award, I, I stayed out of trouble. Um, I've been gainfully employed for the city of Tampa for the last 22 um, years. I'm currently um, the site coordinator at Holland Pine Activity Center. Um, it's an inner city park in, in, in Tampa. I felt excited. I definitely wasn't uh, the student that was accustomed to receiving accolades for my performance. Uh, in fact, I more so got attention uh, for the negative things that I was doing in school. It was an absolutely wonderful feeling. I had known that I finally was at a point that I was turning things around and uh, it's all about choices is something that I learned along the way. Since then, I've actually had several accomplishments. I've had uh, three children, which are probably my best accomplishments. I actually, uh, a few months after I received this award, I found out that I was pregnant with my first child. So I was going to be graduating from high school a mother, unlike a lot of my peers. Um, so hopes of college, going to a university, things of that nature definitely weren't in scope for me at that time. I did attend Hillsborough Community College for a short while, but realized that I needed to, uh, my, finance, my financial state uh, would be better if I went to work full time. So uh, my biggest accomplishment was being able to uh, become a mother at 18 years old and take care of a wonderful, beautiful child. I decided to move to Orlando and I started to work at uh, Charles Schwab of which I've attained several licenses since then. I don't take it lightly anymore. I see that there's an ending result that may give you, make you feel better other than just taking it lightly and not really caring about it and just make taking it halfway instead of just going full on about it and having the result that you really want to have. I kind of learned a lot about myself, how I go about things. I've learned that basically anything that comes to me, I don't want to be that kid that failed by trying and didn't give it my best and just giving it all I have. I uh, was nominated for the Turnaround Achievement Award back in 1990 through Brandon High School. In fact, here is the Turnaround Achievement Award plaque that I received way back then. I, I still have the plaque to this day in my office and I, I still use it to try to influence my kids to, to stay positive and, and, and do things that are uh, positive and, and, and keep a positive outlook on the situations and circumstances that they face. I have a trophy Thing in my room. It's on top of my closet. That's where I keep my baseball trophies from where I was young and it's right there with them with the baseball trophies. I um, keep it on my on a little shelf above my dresser um, which I am for, as directly in front of my eyesight you know more often than not when I'm in my room so it's kind of always there reminding me um, that sometimes being social can be a good thing. The award is hanging up in my mother's wall. It, it is amazing to walk into her house uh, 15 years later and see that it's on the wall and it brings back such great memories. I can assure you that it was a lot of trials getting up to that point of receiving the award. Here's one of the things I had to learn the hard way um, and that's this, what you feed will grow what you feed will grow. Um, I remember back in middle school and high school, I hung out with all the wrong people and uh, I was doing all the wrong things and I, and I 
begin to develop these habits in my life, and, and I learned that those habits were very hard to escape as I grew older. And so uh, um, if there's anything I can encourage you to do, feed yourself. That means um, reading. That means developing your gifts and your skills. That means fine-tuning your life. That means examining your life. If you have anything that would encourage you, for me, my thing was baseball, knowing that in my high school level, there was a baseball team. If you have anything you could grab on, something that would motivate you, grab onto it and just try your best until you get there. If, if you can find either an adult or someone your own age, anyone really, who you feel comfortable around, for me that was, again, was Geary for some reason. She was just kind of, I just was kind of drawn to her. Um, if you can find someone like that, talk to them. As uncomfortable it'll, as it will seem, they'll introduce you to new people and you may or may not, hopefully may find the other people that you can talk to and feel comfortable around. My words of advice would be that it's really your choice. Uh, it's your choice to decide whether or not you want to continue down a negative path if you don't get the help that you need in order to succeed in life. Um, it's all about choices. Life only gets harder from there. Uh, I sat in a room receiving this award thinking that I knew it all, thinking that I had it all down pat, and it was only the beginning of the, the uh, experiences that I would have in my life and, and the difficult times, the trials and tribulations that I would have as an adult. Uh, so, so really if I, I had something to say, it would be, uh, it's not everybody else's fault. You can't blame other people for anything that you do. Uh, your actions are your actions alone and it all boils down to choices. You have the choice to make to whether or not you want to be successful in life or a choice to continue down a path that's just not going to be as successful. I can kind of re regurgitate some of the stuff that Mr. Matthias, Mr. Matthias taught me. Is He, he told me a, a quote, and I, I remember it to this day. He told me, if it's in the word life, um, and if you spell life, it's L-I-F-E. And he told me that if I stop ifing it so much, my life would be so much better. So that quote has stuck with me, and I just want them to know that stop ifing it, stop worrying about, because I used to be like if my father was there, if we had a lot of money, if I was rich, if, if this, if, if it was that, and then he, he just told me to stop ifing it and look at life in a different perspective. And I'm, I'm greatly blessed because of that man's insp inspiration in my life. The future for the Turnaround Awards is something I'm taking a great deal of interest in. And this documentary is actually a piece of that. We want to capture those th first three decades of the Turnaround Awards. We want to ensure that there's longevity for the program, that the things that we have found valuable continue in the future. We've also sent out a great deal of uh, requests to find former recipients over the last 25 years or so and create an alumni group, maybe create a speaker bureau, perhaps even those who would wish to be part of a support system to make sure this thing goes another three years. I hope it keeps going for a long, long time because we certainly believe in it and I hope it continues. I know the school system's behind it. I know the bowling proprietors are behind it. So we, we certainly hope it goes way beyond my time. If I had to come up with one word that in my heart describes what the ceremony is all about, it's redemption. I honestly think a lot of students feel like they're working hard, they're trying hard. The ceremony kind of puts a stamp on what they've done that verifies that very thing. They think they're doing better, people around them know they're doing better, and the ceremony basically redeems them. It puts them back into a light where they're, they're showing the same promise that they've always had.